after the Octantis made a stop at Silver Islet this morning. The ship stayed moored in the harbour and the passengers were brought to shore on small inflatable boats to tour the scenic village. Lee Noonan was there. Silver Islet locals and representatives from the city stood by to welcome the first passengers arriving on the Viking Cruises ship. Some of the 350 passengers came ashore for a day of hiking, nature walks and cultural tours. So we have a great deal of activities outdoor with hiking and then going out on the watercraft. So very, very interesting ship. Thunder Bay tourism manager Paul Pepe says the ship's arrival marks the return of a normal tourism season after the challenges of the pandemic. Uh, Viking has a, a, a internationally renowned reputation for excellence and quality. And, uh, you know, having Thunder Bay as a destination for them, being aligned with them uh, as a cruise destination, uh, elevates Thunder Bay's reputation too. I had never been to... Uh, Lake Huron or the Georgian Bay or uh, Lake Superior. So we wanted to see this area and it's uh, really beautiful. We were tired of being isolated from COVID. So we found this really cool new cruise. It's an expedition cruise, so yeah. we would be outdoors a lot. And we've done Viking before and really enjoy Viking cruises. The ship is scheduled to make seven turnarounds in Thunder Bay this summer. Pepe estimates that direct and indirect impacts will bring between 3.8 and 5.6 million to the local economy this year. The economic impacts of a turnaround are a lot broader than just the tourism impacts. It actually benefits the overall local supply chain in the, in the hospitality, in the food service, in the retail, uh, and then the vessel supply industries as well. The ship has already created jobs locally. Carrie Burlingkett is a manager of shore excursions and support for Viking Cruises. She has hired a team of 12 ambassadors who will be welcoming guests and promoting the city. We've got this amazing team of people to show off our neck of the woods and show off the highlights that we have in Thunder Bay. Soon, Burlingkett and her team will be busy with tours of several local landmarks, but for the moment, she's just excited to be a part of this inaugural visit. I'll tell you, just being here this morning made me absolutely giddy driving out here and seeing this incredible ship parked and seeing uh, the people of Silver Islet coming out and welcoming everybody. It's just been a real feel good. The ship is turning around in Thunder Bay with most guests disembarking and flying out of the city and a new batch landing to start off their journey down the Great Lakes. Lee Noonan, TBT News.